The Bills beat the Denver Broncos 48-19 to on Saturday. I don't have a lot to say about Buffalo. Uh, they won a game they were supposed to win. They beat uh, the, the Denver Broncos. Josh Allen had four touchdowns, two passing, two rushing. And uh, we're watching Josh Allen just grow a lot this year. It's very, very cool. Uh, Stephon Diggs in this game had 11 catches for 147 yards. Cole Beasley had eight catches for 112 yards. And I thought the coolest thing from this game on Saturday, you know, the Bills win, they beat Denver. Buffalo has clinched and has won the AFC East title. And it's the first time in 25 years that Buffalo has won the AFC East. It's also the first time, I mean, so I guess before this, the Patriots won 11 years in a row. So the Patriots' dominance is over. The Bills are the new top dogs. And a skeptic would say, like, wow, like all it took was COVID and all it took was Tom Brady to leave. And you can be skeptical if you want. Uh, but the Bills are 11-3. and three. They're legit. And I, they're playing very good football. And I look at the Bills right now, and they have a Super Bowl window open for the next, like, three years. You know, this year, next year, the year after next, maybe longer. We'll see what, you know, how things work out. Uh, but the roster and the head coach, they're in a position right now where the Bills are in position to have a window to win a Super Bowl in the next couple of years. And uh, I really do hope that the Bills offensive coordinator, Brian Dable, feels a sense of unfinished business where he's like, man, I we've been building this thing and I got to see it all the way through. Because a lot of people say that Brian Dable, the offensive coordinator in Buffalo, could leave and go be a head coach. And I do hope that he leaves after Buffalo makes a Super Bowl run. I think it'd be better for his resume anyway. If Buffalo, even if Buffalo doesn't win, let's say Buffalo goes there and they lose. But you're like, hey, I got the Bills to a Super Bowl. Uh, that's a good thing for your resume. Like, it would make players on your team that you're head coach of eventually look at you with some belief and say, wow, we believe in this guy. He took Buffalo to a Super Bowl. He, he coached Josh Allen. He turned him around. And then, then not to mention, like, the first of all, the, I, ho I hope that Brian Dable stays for the journey. Like, if he wants to be a head coach someday, the lessons he can learn from the journey of turning Buffalo into a team that makes a Super Bowl berth, win or loss, that journey is good for anybody who wants to be a head coach. I, I just hope that Brian Dable sticks around for a little while longer until the Bills can make a really good uh, run at a Super Bowl. And I, I just uh, I, I hope that Brian Dable doesn't leave before that can happen because my fear is that that could be the thing that derails Buffalo. If they lose their offensive coordinator, Josh Allen, who's made so much progress, has to get a new system and a new coach. I would hate to see that happen. So I am hoping that Brian Dable stays with the Buffalo Bills a little bit longer, even though he's going to have some job offers probably, most likely, this offseason coming up.